All right, guys, it's been about two years since I went over all of the picks that I routinely use uh, on the Lock Lab workbench. A lot of you guys have been sending in questions, noticing there's been a lot of changes since that last review. I thought it would be a good time to go over it again, particularly since I just cut out, I designed and cut out a brand new uh, bench block uh, on my CNC router. So we'll be talking about that a little bit. What I'll do is I'll start on the front. These are my most commonly used picks. And of course, the most common used are right here, easy for me to grab. I am right-handed. So the first two picks we're going to take a look at are these guys. Both of these are uh, from Sparrows, and they come with this dipped handle, which I really like. Very comfortable to use, very durable. The one I use probably most common is that bottom one. That's the Attila. Uh, I misidentified that as the Tron for a long time, but indeed that is the Attila. And then right above it, also almost used just as frequently, uh, is the Offset Hybrid. Again, I misidentified that guy as a Euro Hybrid for a long time. There's no such pick. It is the Offset Hybrid. So I'm going to set everything off and give you a better look at my new pinning or pick uh, stand. The next two most common use picks, uh, quickly go over my coating here. You notice in all of these holes, I have a blue pick in front and a black one in the back. Blue is 15 thousandths and the identical pick, the exact same profile, is right behind it with a black handle. It's usually 25 thousandths or perhaps 26 thousandths, depending on who makes it. So I got a thin one and a thick one. These are by, both of these are made by, uh, from the Praxis kit by UK Bump Keys. I love this profile of the short hook. For me, I just got used to it and I don't know. I just, I like it a lot. I am using marine grade uh, shrink wrap, by the way. Marine grade shrink wrap is a little bit thicker material. So again, it gives you about the same thickness as the Sparrows does. Very comfortable to use. And also, if you look down in there, this has adhesive on the inside of the marine grade stuff. So uh, it's not going to slide off and slip slide around. So that's why I've moved to the marine grade stuff. All right, so blue is always going to be in the front. And the 25 thousandths will be right behind it. These next two don't really follow that rule, and that's because it's a rat yoke. It's the same profile. These are both medium hooks. The rat yoke is just slightly deeper than the, than the one. This one also from the Praxis kit, 25,000. And then the rat yoke, I didn't want to deface these beautiful rat yoke. Hand-finished handles with a piece of blue shrink wrap. So I'm just going to have to remember that the rat yoke is my 15,000. I don't have any trouble with that. Next to them here, again, two more rat yokes. These are fairly new. I've had these less than a year. I hope they never break. But if they do, they are the exact profiles that are in the Praxis kit. So I'll probably move to the Praxis picks. Again, one in 15,000, that really shiny one. And then right, right next to it there is a 25,000. All the handles are identical. These are about the cheapest ones that rat yoke makes them. They are still not very cheap. All right, now we move into multi-pick. You're going to notice, I'm going to say multi-pick over and over and over. That's because the majority of these, I've moved to multi-pick. I'm very happy with the sandwich steel handles, and I'm also very happy with the finish quality and the durability of the picks. Now, obviously, these are my Bogotas. We have a 15,000 Bogota and the 25th right behind it. You notice the uh, multi-picks gives a catalog. That one is Victor 23, and I think this, this one's probably stamped perhaps on the handle here somewhere, the front of the Bogota. There we go, Bogue, I think it's 03, trying to make it out through the. I will probably put all of these numbers down inside of the description. So if you guys want to try to find them, you'll have the exact catalog number. Moving down again, I'm going back to Sparrows here. Sparrows is the only one that really produces this triple peak worm one in 25, and this is, the 25 does come with a dipped handle, but their 15 thousandths doesn't come with a dipped handle. I don't know why, so I've just put blue shrink wrap, marine shrink wrap on it, and I keep them together. So there's my worms, and of course right next to it is my a continuation of all of my hooks. Now these are from Tool, T-O-O-O-L. You buy these as a set. Now you'll notice there are Ones that are four humps, there's a four humper, and there's a four humper, and then the other twos are quint, or five humpers. Uh, the one that looks like a normal Bogota, I'm trying to see through the camera, so that would be this guy and that guy. These are called the cycloids. I think I've got that wrong. I made a mistake through the camera. There we go. 
this one and this one. So we got a four hump Bogota and a five hump Bogota. Slightly different frequency. These are called the cycloids. And then the ones that are smoothed off, and that would be these guys, a four humper and a five humper. And these are called the sinusoids. So yeah, anyway, you get them as a four, doesn't as a set of four, doesn't really matter if you remember those names or not, but I gotta tell you. The sinusoids are really handy on best locks. I really have a lot of luck with those. All right, we've cleaned out my most frequently used picks. Again, starting back over here, my my worms or my rakes actually continue. These are from these are just normal four hump Bogotas. These are the from uh, multi pick. Again, a f this is kind of a duplicate of the uh, the tool, but I find these to be a little bit more durable. All right, I'm moving to the W rake. Again, this is a kinetic weapon. These are both also from multi-pick. Drag the next one. I love using these guys on um, master locks. This is the L rake or the city rake. One in each different thickness. Now, moving left here, This is these are all from multi-pick, but... These three are actually from the SS Dev profile. This one is only from Multipick, it, I, and it kind of is a continuation of the SS Dev. It is a very, very slight hook. It's almost like a like a knife, but there's just a little bit of upturn on the end. I find it very handy for manipulating sliders and also for really tight spaces. Again, we got a 15 and a 25. Directly next to him is the next increase in hook. This is actually the first one from the SS Dev uh, collection or profile. This is, these are both made by Multipick. Again, a couple Multipicks. The next increase in hook. This is what I would categorize as their deep hook. And then the last one is the ultra deep. Now, if you have a very high cut pin in a Euro profile. Notice how thin all these SS dev, they are designed for European locks. So a very high cut pin and a very paracentric keyway. This one right here is about the only pick that I found that will give you half a chance of picking those locks. All right, we finally made it to row three. These are picks that I use occasionally. Uh, still nice to have. I got a collection of, again, from all these are from multi-pick, of uh, uh, half diamonds. We got a 15 thousandths. And then the 25 right there. And then we have a large half diamond. Don't get to use him very often. I don't bother with the 15 thousandths of the large because if it's if the keyway is wide enough to get that big thing in there, generally it's wide enough to fit a 25 into it. This is where I keep my balls way back there. Hardly ever used, but when I have a warded lock, you guys are going to read between the lines there, I know. But uh, when I have a warded lock, this really works well, in addition to some of the rakes, particularly the tool, uh, they, they work out really well. So I keep them back there just in case. And occasionally I get a little over vigorous with keys, I break stuff off. Now you'll notice I have one in, I didn't color code this one because it's pretty obvious. This bottom one is 25 thousandths, nice sharp, both for multi-pick. And then directly above it, you can see the shaft of that one, the profile, is about half, maybe even less than the thickness, plus it's also 15,000. So if you have a paracentric keyway and you've broken off the tip of a key way back there, again, this is the one that I found gives me the best chance of retrieving, retrieving that broken piece of key. Or if someone shoves, like a kid breaks off a popsicle stick, it makes it, makes it easy to get back into there. It's not exactly a pick, but I keep my tweezers there. I do use those quite a bit. And then my only... Peterson pick is right here. Uh, it's actually not even a pick anymore. It was, it's a, started out life as a 15 thousandths hook. The tip of it broke off at some point. I filed it down and then shortened the profile. I now use this to manipulate sliders. So I'm working on a, say, a, an ASA or a multi-lock MT5 Plus or something, and it has sliders in it. This is a great tool to get in there and manipulate. Homemade, but I find it works very, very nicely. Next is my decoder. This is a, again, made by Sparrows. This is their new waffle handle. I guess it's been out about a year. This one's quite bent up because I do use it all the time to do decoding. Sparrows calls this their ultra decoder. I don't know how ultra it is, but it does work very well. It's one of the thinnest 
uh, that I found. This one's only seven thousandths in thickness. It's almost foil-like, but where other decoders will not fit into cracks, this one I found certainly does. So I really like the, the Ultra Decoder. And the last one, again, not a pick, something I made myself out of a piece of 32,000 thick um, feeler gauge. It's just a knife. I ground it out. I use this for bypassing locks. I do use it quite frequently, but uh, he gets, because he's not a commercial pick, I guess, I shoved him back there in a left rear corner. And we're left with the pick stand. Just designed this uh, using SolidWorks, and I cut it out on the uh, CNC router. Everything's nice. It'll fit two Peterson picks. It'll also fit up to six un unhandled picks, or it'll fit three sandwich picks. So pretty much anything that I have will fit into the slots. It keeps everything really well organized. This is all flush. The mounting screws, these are just regular standoffs to give a little bit of room there. And on the bottom, I put some half cutouts so that the bottom of the pick kind of stay there. They don't flop around. They kind of get locked in and they stay straight and they don't fall over. On the bottom, I put some silicone so it doesn't slide around on my bench. Works out really well. This is about prototype number six, and this is the one that I'm going to stay with. In fact, I was so confident in this, I went ahead and cut a bunch of them out using basically all of the different colored Corian that I had on hand that I bought uh, off of eBay. I'll probably... Give, be doing a lot of giveaways of these things, and I might even list a couple of them on eBay. So keep an eye out. If you want to grab one of these, keep an eye on eBay. Anyway, guys, that is... Move that out of the way. Those are all the picks that I use on pretty much an everyday basis. Appreciate your time and patience, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.